Hey guys, and uh, today is Monday, and today I want to I want to do a top six uh, study Bibles and commentary that I own right now, and I definitely plan on buying some more uh, different study Bibles uh, that I really enjoy collecting, and ho hopefully I do some uh, study Bible reviews and stuff. So uh, the six the Number six got to be the Jeremiah Study Bible, Study Bible by David Jeremiah, which I love listening to from time to time. Um, <coughs> um, to uh, my knowledge, um. This one does not have any cross references, but they do have little paragraphs of uh, of reflection. Uh, for example, uh, in Nehemiah chapter well five, uh, it says the power of righteous anger. It then it then. Uh, David Jeremiah explains it. Let's see. It has uh, some footnotes and stuff. If you can see there. Uh, let's see here. It does have <coughs> pretty good uh, references. Um, uh, they do have essentials of the Christian faith, the, the millennium. Talk about the thousand year reign of Christ. Uh, it has, uh, let's see here. It does have uh, the, each book entries, uh, well, and the introduction of each uh, book of the Bible. You can see here, uh, like a book of Isaiah. Talk about what it says. Talk about what it means and what it means for you you know and I, I really like this study Bible um, this come with you know the uh, the New King James NIV uh, I think that's all I can remember um, do have some concordance Let's see here. Yep, does have a concordance at the back. It then does have, let's see here. Try to go back. Yeah, the harmony of the Gospels. Let's see here. And then, uh, let's see here. And it does have colored maps in pretty much great in detail. But, uh, yeah, so this is the number six. On my list, um, the fifth should be the English Standard, uh, the English Standard, sorry, the ESV Study Bible by um, Crossway, <coughs> and this was uh, an introduction. Uh, well, actually, uh, a number of scholars did all this got lists of illustrations uh charts and graphs does have maps Let's see got the contributors does have the introduction the author time uh the title and date 
does have uh, themes and key themes. Arrangement of books. History of Salvation Summary. Genesis and History. Genesis and Science. Talks about reading Genesis in the 21st century. Uh, literary features and uh, in great detailed outline. And uh, does have the notes and cross references, as you can see here. Um, the uh, the the orange color, the or the yellow color, the highlights is the uh, the first person of um, <coughs> yeah. Does have a lot of charts and graphs in here. Um, See, oh, they do have color maps and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Go to the back of the Bible. You have concordance. Does have concordance. Uh, tables of weights and measure and units does have colored maps so yeah basically that's it you know this is the number five Bible that I own number four is the John MacArthur's Bible commentary by John MacArthur uh, it has general introduction to, to each major division of the Bible, a short introduction covering author, date, time, and setting for each book of the Bible. Each introduction also includes discussion of God's character, how Christ is seen, key doctrines, key words, key people, key scripture practices that represent the core theme of each book of the Bible. A harmony of historical books of first and second Samuel, first and second Kings, and first and second Chronicles, the harmony of the Gospels, articles uh, pertaining an overview of theology, the, the ministry of Jesus, the ministry of the apostles, and the progress of revelation. Cross references um, to the MacArthur Bible handbook as an alternative source for more in depth treatment. So again, uh, this is written by John MacArthur, who is a scholar, uh, well, a theologian, my, my fault. And um, this is a really awesome, awesome commentary. Although I'm not a uh, reformed, I'm not communist, <laughs> but I really dig on to what he uh, thinks of a portion of scripture and got some good outlines uh, got some good introduction uh, historical introductions to uh, different portions of the Bible and also like introduction to like wisdom books historical books good stuff um, you know he's a cessationist and I'm not so uh, I mean, it's okay, so I learned this Bible on the uh, fourth uh, fourth place on this list. Um, trying to see here what's the end of it. And that's it. That's all the commentaries. So, Landis on number four on my list. Number three, I got this one volume uh, by uh, the Believer's Bible Commentary, second edition, um, by William McDonald. So I got this commentary. Uh, it does, let's see here. Um, 
Make Bible study a part of your daily life with through yet easy to use believers Bible commentary. Uh, William McDonald tackles the controversies issue head on, taking a theological conservative stand, yet presenting alternative views with uh, fairness. The believers Bible commentary is a friendly guide to exploring the deeper meaning of every biblical book. This new edition includes four, uh, 14 pages of four colored maps on the Holy Land and other city helps. Uh, and this can be used um, on any translation, especially the King James and the New King James. So, yeah, I really enjoy this book so much. Uh, this commentary it has a lot of good things got the introduction to the Old Testament how we got the Old Testament canon why why the Apocrypha is not added um, and then we get into the uh, see here and then the introduction to the Pentateuch or the, the, the laws of Moses and then get on to the introduction to Genesis. And got some good in introduction and outline. And then got all the commentaries and stuff. Uh, let me see through the back here. <coughs> got some pretty good maps. Pretty colorful maps. And ooh, so you got the note pages here. If you want to write down some notes, which probably need more pages than that. Uh, got the uh, people and places of the Bible in the back. And got um, uh, supplements. Like the work of the Trinity, uh, the Hall of Fame, uh, yeah, the Hall of Fame of Faith, the life of P uh, Paul, the resurrection, the harmony of the Gospels, uh, has the miracles of Jesus, the parables of Jesus, got the genealogy of Jesus, the events in G in uh, Christ's ministry, image of God in the Psalms. <coughs> Places of the prophets, reference to Jesus in the Psalms, the rulers of of uh, Assyrians, uh, ancient world of power, um, judgment of the nations. Uh, David's kingdom, the family tree of, of Ruth, from Boaz to Jesus, the period of the judges, the battles of Gideon, uh, the, con the conquest on Canaan, the Levitical uh, offerings, the life of Moses, the, the preservation of the remnant, the Jewish calendar, Jacob returned to uh, Canaan, uh, yep, and yeah, that, that's it, you know, let's see here on here, uh, the, uh, Biblical, biblical graph. Yeah, so I mean, this is the best uh, comment, Bible commentary that I own. Uh, I think I bought this on Amazon for very low, cheap use. So, um, yeah, so, so this is a number three on my list.
The next two, uh, number two, is the John MacArthur Study Bible. And you, you can tell it's all worn out and worn because I've used this uh, early in my walk, even though I wasn't, you know, I, I don't understand about Calvinism and the tulip. Uh, but yeah. <coughs> <laughs> so basically it has quad um notes and stuff uh see here see it does have uh, how we get the bible the progress of revelation how to study the bible uh this is the uh new american standard ver uh, version let's see um Got the introduction to the Gospels, chronology of the New Testament, harmony of the Gospels, a brief overview uh, overview of Christ's life, the brief overview overview of Christ's ministry, the Passovers of Christ's ministry, Christ's Passion Week, and then at the back it has the overview of theology, index to key Bible doctrines, weight measures, con uh. What's it called um concordance. So and got a lot of charts and uh, maps in here as well. Uh I guess, you know, this is a very, very helpful uh study by from a theologian who knows his stuff, even though I disagree with Calvinism and uh and cessationism. Uh, this Bible really helps me to understand the importance of studying the Word of God and, and really learning how to study on your own using uh, hermeneutics. So, now lastly, and for not least, this is the Far Bible NIV Student Edition. And this was a gift from my youth youth pastor back in the back in my uh, uh early high school years i say uh this is a pentecostal book uh published by uh life pub life publishers international um the fire bible is uh really amazing uh i think this is a really really good Pentecostal study Bible. Uh, it has you know how to know God, uh, Fire Bible Student Edition, Campus Mission Introduction, Discovering the World. Um, I see the word, how to use the Fire Bible Student Edition, and then got the uh, weight to measure subject index. Theme Finder Index, Campus Mission Connection Index, Concordant Glossary of Terms, Campus Mission Training Helps, and I got and they got a lot of articles that really really helped me understand Pentecostalism, uh, the Old Testament Law, the Passover, the nature of idolatry, the attitude of God. The will of God, the word of God, the peace of God, the glory of God, intercession, the spirit in the Old Testament, caring for the poor and disadvantage, tithe and offering, the kingdom of God, divining, uh, divine healing, false teachers, signs of believers, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, um, the spiritual rebirth of the, of the disciples, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, uh, speaking in tongues, the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, uh, overseers and their duties, um, the rapture, the inspiration and authority of Scripture, standards of sexual uh, sexual morality, sanctification, the Christian relation to the world. Christ's message to the seven churches. Uh, got the campus's uh, mission articles, charge and maps. Got um, the five 
uh, the five uh, commitments of the of a campus mis um, um, campus uh, missionary. <laughs> One is prayer. <coughs> <coughs> Live, serve, tell, give. Um, and they got theme finders. Uh, they have those little those uh symbols and stuff. Um, yeah. And on the back. Here, got a subject index back here. Let's see where is that. The Wall Street terms, but they're pretty cool. Uh, they're 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 pretty good. Uh, campus mission training helps, like serve ways to serve your your school. Serve uh, serving as a group, serving as an individual. Uh, ways to serve your church, ways to serve your community, ways to serve your family. Are you a giver or a taker? Survey. Serving with a st with style. Ten mission giving ideas. Five ways to give one hundred dollars or more in one year. Praying for missionaries. Developing an ev uh, developing an evangelical prayer discipline. Uh, praying strategically. Uh, uh, strategically, I don't know. Uh, praying strategy for your campuses. Um, Bible memory benefits. One hundred and one ways to be witness. To be a witness. Topics and transitions. Thirty questions to spark spiritual conversations. Preparing my story. Uh, to tell you know your testimony, testimony tips, one on one witnessing, witnessing tips, salvation verses, word pictures, uh, illustrating the message, handling ob obstacles. Yes, it's just the beginning. Five friends focus. Uh, it. This this book uh, this is the number one study book that I highly recommend those who are Pentecostals. Um, if if you uh, I think there's five Bibles uh, in Amazon that you can get. They have it in the uh, King James, the the English Standard Version. They have it in the NIV and the uh, the modern English version that is new out. Um, get it. It's worth it. And also, there's other study Bibles like a Life in the Spirit study Bible and the New Spirit Filled study Bible, I believe it's called. Uh, but it's it's really awesome uh, to have one of these uh, Bibles that really helps me to understand Pentecostalism and how it works. Uh, not on, I mean, not just on watching, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? What's his name? Um, Gosh, I forgot his name, but it's on uh, TVN. Uh, no, no, not Keith Hoflin, but uh, what's his name? The charismatic guy, you know, wave his hand and everybody fell down, you know. But anyway, but this is the number one Bible that I love. So if you enjoyed this video, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment down below what is your favorite study Bible, and I will see you guys later.